Welcome back to my channel. Here I am, Dawn, here with my beautiful blonde hair. Y'all looks a mess because it just do. Okay, I don't wanna talk about it. But don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, push the bell, push the bell to get notified every time I upload. Follow me on all social media platforms. That is as told by Dawn on Instagram as well as the life underscore on then Instagram. Oh, I cannot talk. And the life underscore one on TikTok. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this particular video is about, I want to do like kind of like a vlog, but kind of like explain like what I'm doing. So recently, um, I've decided to go on a 24 hour um, liquid fast. So meaning I would not be consuming any type of um, solid foods. So far this morning, I have drunk um, a bottle of water. This is the second bottle of water that I'm drinking here um, for today. So, of course, the goal is, I've been really having a problem with consuming water in general, like actually keeping up with the um, the 64 ounces. My mom asked me, she's like, are you having problems with getting the water? Girl, yes. Okay. I tell her no. But low key, I have. Like, I've been on average, what's that? No, I guess I'm right at like 60 ounces of water because I was about to lie say, girl, I have been having water, but no, I think I've been normally drinking 28 ounces. Uh, I use the Gatorade bottle and I normally drink two full of those and maybe a little bit more. Um, right now, today, I will not be having no solids. That's the goal. <laughs> that is the goal. Um, I just purchased a four pack of I can't think of the brand, but I'm putting on the screen this brand of strawberry protein shake. So they, I believe that it's, oh, is it 24 ounces? I believe it's 30, 30 grams of protein, but this particular one, the reason I bought it was because it was $6.99 at my local Kroger. And I also got a discount because I am a Kroger card holding member. So I was like, I'm gonna drink that. I'm probably gonna drink one of those for breakfast now, drink one for lunch, and then one for dinner. And then if I need like a snack, probably half of one. I'm able to consume like a whole bottle of protein without any type of issues, like within like 30, um, less than maybe, 30, maybe like 20 minutes. So it shouldn't be an issue with me drinking it. Water, I normally like to add in, um, add in, I'm trying to find it. Give me a second. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Give me a second. I never like to add in the sugar-free packets. Um, the one I have right here is the Country Time Raspberry. I took it from my sis house. It's zero. I says sugar. It's zero sugar. The calories, I, I think it's five calories in it. Then I have like another Country Time where it's this lemonade that I got um, earlier from the house. I'll probably drink one of those. It helps me drink water a little bit more with ease than just regular um, lukewarm water or water that may be cold. And that's just for me. I also had me a almond milk latte um, here that I got um, free because I need like a little boost. It's not, it's not caffeine free. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not caffeine free. It's probably gonna turn my stomach. Um, but I just got a little bit. Most of the time when I drink coffee, I I drink probably half of it. I don't really drink all of it. Normally coffee do, does me wrong. I don't like to add a little protein into my coffee. If I do drink it, normally it's been the Quest Vanilla. Last time I had the Premier Protein Caramel, which is really good. So I'm gonna tell you like, um, my fa whenever I do like liquid in general, like if I just need to reset my stomach, cause I think I had got sick. I Y'all had got really, 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 really sick. I didn't tell y'all about this, ooh, story time. So back in, when did I go down to Atlanta? Back when I went, I don't know if y'all knew this. So I went, I recently went to my, um, went to Atlanta to go to Alabama for a college like alumni weekend and I had got some menudo from a Mexican restaurant in Atlanta and it complete me made me sick like when I mean sick I mean like throwing up 
in the car in my in my beautiful car right here and then also like having diarrhea throwing up constantly um just throwing up this is this is back in may so i was throwing up like a lot so by the time that i got I got sick in Atlanta the night before I had to come here where I just felt like whatever was going on with what I ate, it was it was it was like making me like go crazy. I got a cup of coffee at Starbucks thinking, okay, this coffee is gonna make me feel better. And it did not. Um I had a layover. I didn't have like a layover, but there was like a delay in me getting here back to Texas from Atlanta. And y'all, I was like literally praying to god saying lord i do not want to throw up on this on this flight i got the little baggie from the back of the airplane to um to like think you know if i thought i was gonna throw up if you want to skip past this i'm gonna put the time stamp y'all <laughs> but it's like a mini story time so once i got off of the plane and i got into um into uh, into texas i don't know what it was my whole body began to like shiver and to feel uneased. So I was walking, I was having sweats. I kept going to the restroom and you know, TMI moment, like caution, it was coming out, like not from my mouth, but you know, so I was having, you know, diarrhea. And so I'm like, well, this should be helping whatever's in there to come out. At this point, all I was doing was drinking water. I had that caffeine that morning. A little bit of the coffee and that made it worse so i didn't drink all of that so i was like okay patty you need to make sure that you're consuming as much water as this or something and if i cleanse this out maybe get some pepno bismo it should help with like what's going on because i was feeling like i felt like i had to throw up but it, it would i wouldn't throw up so i got i it, it took me so long to get from the terminal to get my bags that my bag was the last bag on the wheel it took me so long to get from the terminal to my bag i had to stop about four or five times before i got to that area and i called my sister and she's like where are you at i'm like i don't feel good i feel like i'm about to literally pass completely out it's just like where are you i'm like i'm in a restroom you have my location i'm trying to like i kept having to stop every like Cause the airport here in Texas is big. So like every, every, every couple of like blocks of wherever I was at, it's kind of like a mall. Like every, every, every like two or three minutes I had to stop. So by the time I got my bag, I got to her. I'm like, girl, I didn't, she was like, you being dramatic. And I'm like, if I'm being dramatic, I'm being dramatic, but I don't feel good. And it's like, I keep, you know, having these movements, but nothing like I still feel really bad. And I had the bag, and she like basically like Dawn, you are always kind of like really dramatic, and I am a little dramatic, y'all. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe this too should pass. Like, is this by the time I get home, I'll be able to lay down, get some rest, because I've been up all day as far as the morning time, and then traveling, and you know, with you going like the, the commotion of the plane, like I'm thinking that's just making me sick. We got, I got in the car, and she started moving in my car because she picked up my car. It was like tearing me up. By the time that I got to, like, we were probably a mile down the street from the airport. And I'm like, hey, Monet, you need to pull over because I have to, I ha I, I think I'm about to throw up. Like, I not, I, I just thought I said, I, I need some, I need something to drink because I'm feeling really dehydrated. It was already hard for me to keep down water. I'm not, let me just explain that. And then... I was just really thirsty, but it was, I couldn't drink water like how I could normally drink water. So she pulled over, she's like, I'm gonna go in there and get you a, a drink. I think while we were driving, I had threw up, like, like volatile throw up in my car, like in the bag, like it was just coming out. So she, at this point she knew I wasn't lying. She was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, ugh. <laughs> Did you get on anything? I'm just like throwing up her, over here in the car. And I'm like, I think I threw it both ways. <laughs> she was like, what? I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to get out the car. She was like, uh, you ain't about to be in here. Uh, you know, mm, booty. I'm like, well, I don't know, girl. So she went, got me something to drink. I went, I'm like, okay, I don't think I did it. So we got home. She's like, you got to throw up again. Like, basically, you had a bag. I got home to the house. 
she helped me in there like i was like really sick at this point i'm still sipping on i had she got me like i think a um an electrolyte drink so i'm like sipping on electrolytes got home threw up again at this point I'm, like, I'm gonna have to call off because i am sick throwing up at this point i had lost i had lost weight y'all i had lost like seven pounds over the course of me being sick for those two days um i wasn't able to eat at all so it was all liquid um i was worried about because i wasn't i didn't know how um, the shake was going to do on my stomach i didn't really want to drink the protein drink but i knew i needed something that was clear and liquid and maybe came from a protein source so i was i had chicken noodle soup without the actual noodles and chicken because anything solid that i would eat i would try to like you know try crackers that wasn't helping it so i had the soup it was able to go down but i say all of that to say is when you get sick as after VSG, it is very much important that you continue to um, have water and get some type of source of protein because you don't want to, it's already hard for us to like, if you get sick, sick, you just can't throw down stuff and go, okay, that should get me. You want to make sure you're constantly sipping because at that point, I, my, my stomach was like, no, no ma'am, no ma'am, no Pam. So yeah, I'm very much um, mindful of whenever I do liquid um fast and afterwards this particular fast has nothing to do with the surgery it is more of like a spiritual thing that i'm doing so that is the goal liquid all day uh three to three to four proteins if i'm able to get four and yeah so i'm gonna do that for the next 24 hours so after tomorrow it's well no i think it's tonight i started last night so after tonight tomorrow i'll be able to start drink um having solids again and it's more like again i'm saying it's more spiritual but it's just you know be mindful like whenever if you are if it's religious or non-religious whenever you're doing any type of fasting you want to be mindful to even even know um you want to make sure that you're taking care of your body in the process of doing it because you're not able to do things as you could normally do or it could be more harmful is if you were a person that could, um, who didn't have restrictions. I don't have really crazy restrictions, honestly, but I am still mindful of how I'm consuming things. And um, if I do feel a certain type of, like my, you, your body would, like you know your body at this point after it's been almost two years. I know my body when I, if I need to take a little shot of protein or something like that, like there are some options. I'm gonna list um, some of my favorite protein drinks or supplements that I like in the description. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Thank you for watching this video. Again, follow me on all social media platforms. It'll also be in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and push the um, bell to get notified every time I upload. See y'all tomorrow, because that's our Friday, either tomorrow or Saturday for our live. So yeah, everybody, talk to you soon. Smooches. Yeah, down there. I call God to make me stronger. Mm -hmm.